Hey traders, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It is uh, nearly 11 o'clock this morning and I've got a day off from work. So I just thought, hey, let's make a little Asian session update. Now the New Zealand dollar, interesting turn of events. I did have the stop loss move to below break even. So I guaranteed uh, a little bit of profit and locked in 1093. So I got executed at uh, 69 cents dead on. Uh, look, a little bit unexpected. This candle, uh, you know, f for its recent, you know, daily trading range is, oh no, it's pretty, yeah, okay. But it did, it had a little bounce uh, off, what was the low of that candle? 68.225. I knew it was going to be a bit of an, uh, a struggle to get through 68 cents. That's why you got the stop loss there. You know, you're in a carefree detached state and you let it go and this happens. So I made around $11 on that. Uh, so October was a losing month as well. Yeah, so around half a percent. But that's okay though because I, I felt like I did follow the rules. I mean, honestly, the S&P 500 trade, uh, you know, it wasn't a, wasn't a great trade, but I've taken non-great trades before and they've, you know, won pretty nicely. So got a little unlucky with how it rejected, um, you know, the, the price pretty dramatically and, and stopped me out. But we've got the USD yen here and this has made uh, some positive moves well, unexpectedly as well. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. We're pretty much at uh, just below uh, entry price here. And yeah, um, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. So this this might be a little bit more of a battle. You know, I I mean, I might close it out if it gets above because it's it's just a little frustrating. That's all. And we've got the USD Swissy. USD Swissy is you know it's it's got potential. It's got potential. What I will do, guys, is I will. I thought I had this open already. Apologies, I'm still drinking my first coffee, so I'm just warming up to the day. Fantastic day in Perth as well. I'm just getting my FX book up. So this is just above 1% of risk here, I think it is. Oh, come on. I subscribe to so many YouTube channels. Really? <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Oh, man. Alright. So we're logging in. We're logging in, everyone. We're doing it. And I understand my FX books, uh, you know, my FX book can be manipulated, but every single trade I do, you know, show on YouTube. So I, I'm trying to be as, uh, as accountable and transparent as possible. Okay. So this is, I don't know why I would lie about a performance like this. So it doesn't really make much sense to me. So here it is. And I'll just close that down. So we'll get the profit chart up. So not not my worst drawdown, I think. Yeah, that was sixty. So, I mean, it it it, it ebbs and flows, and that's trading. So so far, I've made uh, two hundred eighty six dollars Australian, pretty much six percent. So and that's been from uh, okay. So as we can see, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven months. In well, it's eight months actually because April I didn't take any trades, so we're talking nine months now. And this happens, uh, I mean, it's been a nice little run for me, so I'm not too uh, frustrated that at all, to be honest. And technically speaking, uh, November's already in, in the black a little bit with that $11 trade that got closed out with New Zealand dollar, but. It, it's it's unusual because you know I was if you watched some of my previous videos I was up around fifty dollars earlier with these two trades as well and I could have taken that and you know 
but it just doesn't reflect the true nature of the rules. So that's my problem, and I'm very proud that I didn't take profits too early. And you know, because sometimes things can really collapse, and the New Zealand dollar trade could have been a huge winner. So I just have to deal with this. And most of the time, you're not going to get those huge winners. But if you keep closing out too early on everything, yes, you guarantee profits, but then you miss those huge runners. So mm -hmm. that's something I just want to you know discuss. USD Swissy is a potential play. Not quite yet, though. Uh, not quite yet. I, I want to see a nice candle close above uh, these highs here, above 99,936. Uh, what am I doing? Window. All right, we've got the Aussie dollar up as well. This is one we've been watching too. Uh, the problem with the Swissy though is I I don't want to be you know too heavily reliant on going long the US dollar. So that's um, something I'm watching as well. All right. So look, this is interesting. No trade. That's more of a no trade than the Swissy. The reason for that is the the sideways consolidation that's developing here and the Australian dollar is really notorious for doing that I mean look at this if we just zoom out you know I mean this 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 <laughs> so that's something to take in consideration anyway guys that's it that's how I ended the month 0.54 percent thank you for watching and I'll upload this straight away bye